It's springtime for Hitler and Germany. Well, hello, tubers. It's a lovely day here in British Columbia because it's not raining. <laughs> and if you notice, I got my hair cut. Look at those hairs are cut. Of course, I didn't have a shower yet today, so my hair's a little flat from under the hat. But I did get my hair cut by a lady from Kabul, Afghanistan. I'm probably the only person you know that got their hair cut this week <laughs> from somebody from Kabul, Afghanistan. It's always uh, interesting to have conversations with people from extreme places, uh, especially war-torn uh, nations. We had a very interesting conversation about religion, and uh, I had to point out to her, I said, you know what, you ever notice the countries that keep religion out of government always do better? <laughs> and she kind of hesitated for a second, and she says, yeah, you know what, you're right. And I know I'm right. Every country that meddles and tries to insert religion into government, it just goes bad. All over history, people have tried it. It don't work out good. It's very, very, very ugly. Of course, it works out good for the leaders who make money off of you and want to control your morality and tell you how to raise your family and how to live your life and what you can and can't do with your genitals. But beyond that, it really doesn't help the average person. Well, we got people out with their cameras doing some bird photography. We got a lot of a explosion of birds lately because even though we're technically in winter, winter becomes shorter and shorter every year here in Canada. Maybe it's global warming, don't know, but I, I know it because I see it here. I'll give you an example. Last year, I think I did a video, um, we had temperatures in the 80s on the last day of winter and people were at the beach swimming. Yeah, that's crazy. Winter in Canada, people are at the beach swimming. So I gotta go pick up some supplies. But what I did wanna talk about today is some prognostication that I'm gonna do. I'm about to predict that thousands and thousands more of you are gonna be living in RVs a year from now. <laughs> and it's not because you want to either because you're gonna have to man I got uh, quite often I have business news network or you know all the financial data going in the background just something to look at in the last few days trillions of dollars from the world economy has vaporized into nothing I think the Dow's down 60% in a few days gold is taking a beating crude oils taking a beating Many other sectors of the resource-based economies are taking a beating. Tourism's in a dumper. Hell, even uh, Tokyo Disneyland's closed. So, this whole economy is going south for a bit. It's cyclical. I'm old enough to remember the recession of the early 80s, the smaller one in the early 90s, the dot-com collapse, the 911, uh, the 911 fallout and then the bond market implosion, then the big recession in 08, which of course did not affect us as bad here in Canada for some reason. But hey, all I'm just trying to say is I've seen it and it's not gonna be fun. If you're living in a small apartment right now and then you can't pay your rent, where are you gonna go? You're gonna have to get an RV. <laughs> I swear I'm the only person I know on YouTube, or that I've even met in, in real life, that has voluntarily moved from a million dollar house into an RV while you had a good paying job. I did that. I was still working at a reasonably uh, decent paying job with benefits, and I volunteered to live in the RV just to see if it could be done for one season. One season has now become, I think, six seasons. <laughs> because uh, I kind of got used to it and I liked it and you know proof of concept once you got proof of concept and it doesn't annoy you yeah, you just keep doing it until you do get annoyed that's pretty much what I do it's like what I do with blueberries in spring I eat tons of blueberries <laughs> until I'm sick of blueberries and then I don't eat blueberries for a while that's probably what's gonna happen with me and my RV life 
I will get tired of it at some point. Possibly. Haven't reached that point yet, so I can't predict when it's going to happen. But as for some of you, yeah, get ready. You're going to have one hell of a recession. And, you know, you're thinking, well, hey, what does it have to do with me, man? I, I don't work in tourism. I don't do oil and gas extraction, man. Well, guess what? All the economies are integrated. People in this community I live in rely on my income. Because if I don't spend my income in my community, these people don't have jobs either. Everything is integrated. I'm sure there's somebody living in Los Angeles that indirectly benefits from the money I have because of the flow of where the cash goes. So don't think that you're all so, ooh, who cares? You know, put your head in the sand. I think you should be getting ready and uh, weather the storm. I'm not talking about prepper stuff. There's always going to be food. I live in Canada. Even if there was no food, <laughs> I can get food from the forest as long as I get off my ass and kill it. That's all you got to do when you live near uh, millions of square miles of nothing. <laughs> but for you city slickers, first of all, I don't think you'd be willing to kill anything to eat it because you're uh, low sodium kosher vegan or something. <laughs> But I don't know about you, when I get hungry, all bets are off. Man, I could probably kill my best friend if I was hungry enough. <laughs> but hey, I'm one of these people that I need to be fed. I'm not eating, I'm not happy. More so than anything else. I can do without uh, beer. I can do without love, <laughs> but I can't do without <laughs> food. <laughs> I don't really know what to say, guys. You need to be ready for this. Everybody's in a different personal situation. Oh, my dog sees the dog. Mm -hmm. Everybody is in a different personal situation, and you're going to have to find a way to prepare for what is currently happening with the economy because some really serious shit's about to happen. I mean, I mean, it's happening now. <laughs> Go click on the Business News Network and take a look at the numbers. Even the bond yields are taking a shit dump. It's 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 ugly. A lot of people are going to be downsizing, losing their jobs. It's uh, not going to be fun. Right, Sam? I think you should put some more nose prints on the glass window. Can you do that? Could you put some more nose prints on that glass window? I think that would really help me. It's a beautiful day in my neighborhood, my neighborhood, my neighborhood. It's a beautiful day in my neighborhood. Won't you be my freaking neighbor? Well, I guess I should go get some skim milk, some chicken. Do you vote for chicken, Sammy? Sammy always votes for chicken licking. Something that fits in the air fryer. Shang shang, shing and a shangy bop. We'll always be like one. Wah, 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 wah. Bye.